police brutality, there's one incident of police brutality that is not very well known. And I think that like any incident of police brutality that goes unreported and unnoticed is doomed to repeat itself. After Hurricane Katrina and evacuees were forced to abandon their pets, they, the people in St. Bernard Parish left their dogs in middle schools and elementary schools under the care of the New Orleans Sheriff's Department. Evidence shows that 33 dogs and two cats died in grotesquely inhumane ways at the hands of the New Orleans Sheriff's Department. These were not mercy killings. These dogs were not left without food and water. Animal rescue was in the area. The New Orleans Sheriff's deputies saw these traumatized evacuees who had just lost everything and were forced at gunpoint to leave their dogs with the sheriff's deputies. And they decided they were gonna have target practice. And they said this in front of the evacuees and the, the psychological brutality of seeing a traumatized dog and seeing a traumatized owner. And instead of being an actual law enforcement agent that took a vow to protect and serve, to be a hero, to reunite these companion animals with their families, they tortured them and they got away with it. There was two animal cruelty charges brought against Officer Mike Minton and Chip England, but those were related to the shootings of the stray dogs in the streets, which they were aiming for their hind quarters so they would bleed out slowly. Those animal cruelty charges were later dropped. This just further reiterates the lack of humanity and the level of consciousness that the New Orleans Police Department was operating at after Hurricane Katrina. A.C. Thompson and the Times-Picayune brought to light the atrocities of the police brutality that happened after Katrina. And there were arrests, there were indictments, there were convictions. Some of those convictions were overturned. These are the people that took an oath to serve and protect. This is the mentality they're operating at. How, as a society, are we supposed to have trust in law enforcement when incidences of blatant psychological and physical brutality go unpunished? This story was briefly covered on CNN by Anderson Cooper, and there was one documentary called An American Opera that covered the animal rescues after Katrina, but mostly this story has gone unreported and unacknowledged. Some people say, yeah, they're just dogs, they're just animals. Like, no, the animal cruelty part, but this is the intentional psychological brutality against already traumatized citizens for no apparent reason other than, I can, I'm in control. The laws have changed since Hurricane Katrina and now, if there's ever an incident like that again, FEMA is responsible for assisting companion animals and owners are not forced to abandon them. I think it's important that we acknowledge the truth of the power dynamics of our society. And the more that we can uncover the truth and reveal the imbalance of power, and understand how the system works, the better chance that we have to bring harmony and balance back into this world.